Hey guys, so I'm back and today, like I said last time, I'm going to be talking about uh, going through summer with a brace. So, I'm really sorry I couldn't make a video last week. I was kind of getting a little sick um, and I just wanted to rest. And I know I said I was going to do two videos this week, but I'm actually in Columbus for Mother's Day. So, I don't think I'm going to be able to. So, I'm really, really sorry about that. Um, but so anyway, so let's talk about summer. So, during the summer, you like to swim or go on vacation and stuff. You can still do all that with a brace, but it makes it a little harder. Last summer, when I found out I was getting my brace, I was supposed to go to camp. But just getting used to my brace, I decided not to go. Um, but this summer, I'm more used to my brace, and so I'm actually doing quite a few trips. So I'll talk about all my trips that I'm taking and how I'm going to be dealing with my brace in a few minutes. But I'm going to talk about swimming, because obviously you can't wear your brace in the pool. So for me, I'm a swimmer, and swimming's really important for me. So last year, I had to wear my brace for 23 hours a day, and it was really, really hard for me. But my parents let me... They talked to my doctor and they let me keep my brace off for about five hours a day, maybe less depending on what the day was, so that I could do swim practice or swim with my friends or just do whatever I wanted to do. So definitely talk to your doctor about that because it's important and with swimming you have to take a shower, maybe you have to stretch or do other things that day so you, could, you might not have a lot of time to swim or whatever. But so yeah. So definitely talk to your doctor about that kind of stuff. So this summer I'm going on three main trips and then one kind of small trip. So I'm going to Washington DC with school, I'm going to Disney World, and I'm going to Sleepaway Camp. And I'm also going to Indiana for a couple days over 4th of July. So I get a busy summer this summer since last summer was really hard. But so let's talk about Washington DC. For DC, I'm going with school and we're on a really specific schedule, so I don't really think I'm going to be able to take my brace off. So I'm probably going to be wearing it for about three days straight, only taking it off for maybe a half hour or an hour every day. So I'm not totally looking forward to that, but I'm going to try to beat the heat with maybe a mini fan. Um... My parents bought these neck things that you just wet and they keep you cold, so I'm going to try to use that too. Um, and so yeah, if I think of anything else, I'll definitely let you guys know. Um, I am also might try to keep uh, like beat the heat with lots of tank tops. I'm not going to wear a black brace buddy as often because um, obviously black makes you warmer. But yeah, so I hope that works, and I'm also going to try to stay very hydrated, because definitely need some water. For Disney World, um, my parents are letting me take my brace off for the daytime, so I'm only going to be wearing it for sleeping, which is okay for my schedule, because I don't have to totally wear my brace for the total 16 hours for at least a week. Um, if I absolutely have to not have it on. And at Disney World, with all the rides and stuff, it's kind of hard. And um, they don't exactly let you wear your brace on a lot of rides and stuff. So um, I think that I'm just going to have it off. But if you guys want me to do like some vlogs or whatever while I'm there, uh, and I can tell you guys what I'm doing, I will be more than happy to put my brace on at some point during the day. So put a comment down below if you want me to do that. Um, so yeah, and then I'm also going to camp this summer, so for camp, I have a specific schedule, but my parents are making me stick to my eight hours a day, because for three weeks I can't have my, uh, brace off all the time, so I know that we're going on, like, a whitewater rafting trip, so obviously for that, I'm not going to be able to wear my brace and stuff, but I still have to wear it for sleeping and whatnot. And then also we're going to Cedar Point for a day. So obviously I can't go on rides and stuff with a brace. So I'll have to take it off for that. Um, so yeah, I hope that this video is helpful. Um, I kind of just shared my experiences 
uh, and what I'm planning to do for the summer. If you guys are doing something different, I mean, I hope I kind of hit most of the details or ideas. Um, but if you guys are doing something different and you have more questions, please ask. Because I went through a whole summer already with a brace and I think I have a good amount of experience. So, yeah. Um, next week, I just looked at my, uh, I was looking back at old videos. I realized I didn't do a video about, like, how to take care of your body and your brace. So, I think I'm going to do that next week, because that's a definitely really important video, especially if you're first getting a brace. So, yeah, I hope this video was helpful, and please like the video if you liked it. And, of course, subscribe. Thanks. Bye.